All right, here's Mega here. I just got done installing the HKS uh, Type 1 Turbo Timer and the Galant VR4 here. And uh, what will be happening next is uh, um, I will be installing this doohickey. Here we go. So let's check this out. I got this on Amazon a while ago. I forgot how much I paid for it, but I'll, I'll we'll, we'll make a video about that later. This puppy is already open. Let's try to get it out of there somehow. Oh my, that's quite a big unit. Um, all right, there it is. It's a keyless entry system. Yeah, look at that. So one of the things, one of my gripes about this car is it has power door locks, but it doesn't have a keyless entry system. So I'm gonna go fix that today. So, because I know it's an extra key fob to add to your keychain, it's kind of annoying. But um, this is a very simple one. It is not an alarm. It just, it's just there to function as a uh, keyless entry system. So, uh, so we'll go figure so, it out. All right. I don't know what brand this is. It's not a name brand, but I, I think I checked the reviews on Amazon and it said it was a good unit. It doesn't say, it just says keyless entry instructions. And it has a little diagram on the back. This is what's important right here. Um, so here's your little brain box right here for it. It has a little antenna hanging off of it. I love how they just, uh, they just, tied the, the the keys to the antenna here <laughs> um, and it has a little harness here so the harness plugs into the little brain box here it's kind of like an alarm kind of like an alarm sort of and then uh, then you need to figure out what to what connect all these wires to so so if you remember correctly from the HKS turbo timer installation I found pretty much all those wires already um, there's one that goes directly to the battery I, ha I there is a hot wire there is a hot wire. Um, direction lights. Why would I need that? Oh, so it um it turns your your lights on when you when you lock the doors. I don't. I'm not gonna look that up. <laughs> um, it's like yeah, it's like it pretends to be an alarm. Um, central control lock assorted wires. Okay. So so it doesn't tell you what does what. Um, there is a positive and negative trigger. Uh, okay. So, so yeah, we'll figure this out. I'll have to figure this out. Um, I did figure out where the wires are. Okay, the wire I need to tap is actually right here. I think, I think it's here. Um, there's a wire here somewhere. We need to unscrew this block here. And then, and then you, it'll, you can access the wires and we just need to tap into that. And then alternatively, we will be, um, tapping into the, the, um, the, um, the turbo timer harness as well um because i know which ones are which i know this red wire is the hot wire right here this is ignition on and this is a accessory um yeah so i hope this doesn't drain my battery too much hope not it's one the one thing i like about this car is that it doesn't drain its battery when you turn it off it's pretty simple i like the no like the modern cars nowadays um, yeah, so it's under here. Um, I looked a picture up on, on Galant VR4 forums. God bless uh, GalantVR4.org, right? <laughs> it's good to have a, a forum that's dedicated to that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, basically we got to unscrew this and this and the whole block comes out and you just flip it around and, and you work on it. So yeah. Um, but I, I have to go figure out what, uh, what goes where. I'm pretty much going to put the brain box... I don't know where I'm gonna put the little box. There's a lot of places I can put it. It's not, like I said, it's not an alarm. All it's there to do is lock and unlock the door, so it should be all good. Um, yeah, so there's a, so suppose, apparently there's a pulse that, uh, I guess we gotta wire it together. Yeah. Um, Cause there's a relay here that does that. That locks and unlocks the doors and we're just going to tap into that and it should be easy um probably hide the brain box i don't know oh, okay by the way so this is the way the door locks work on this car basically uh it has like a sensor there's a, it, it senses like when you lock when lock when you lock and unlock the door there's no uh there's no button there's no there's no physical lock on this car which kind of sucks because what if the power, power door locks ever break you know you won't be able to get in your car. Um, 
That does kind of suck. The Eclipse at least has one. The Eclipse has very, something very similar. Uh, it doesn't work on my Eclipse anymore. <laughs> but but uh, it had like a little sensor where the door lock is, like somewhere here. And then uh, it would lock and unlock the door. Um, or it would also sense like if you were going to lock or unlock it. And then it will lock it automatically. Just like this one. So basically, I, uh, I dropped the door lock like this. And then the rest of them go down. So I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull up. Oh, uh, well, you can look at the other one there. All right, I'm gonna pull up on the um, on the door lock, and the other one will go up. See? And I'll push it down. It goes down. Uh, one of the annoying things about this is that you could potentially lock your keys in your car pretty easily if you uh, if you leave the key in there somewhere and not in the ignition. I'm Maybe when you put it in the ignition, it will it will unlock it. We we can play we can play with that too. You can you can see how the the door lock system works in the in the Galant VR4. I think this used to have an alarm too. Some Galant VR4s have alarms. There's a security light or something, but I'm pretty sure it probably they probably disabled it or something. Um, so yeah. Uh, so one of the annoying things about the Galant VR4 is that it has a sensor, and if the sensor senses any kind of vibration it'll lock or unlock the door. So that's one of my gripes about it. Watch this. So I'm gonna unlock it. And I'm gonna slam, I will slam the door and see if it, uh, if it locks it. No. <laughs> okay. Can we get the back one? I think it works for all of them too. No, okay, it'll only, only the, I think it'll only the driver and the passenger. Okay, well, it's behaving. It's behaving itself right now. Maybe if I don't open it, maybe if I what if I lock it halfway. Nope. Okay. I uh, locked myself out. <laughs> okay, it's not it's beha it's actually behaving right now. So <laughs> but sometimes you'll find yourself, you know, like uh, when you open it, sometimes it doesn't open all the way. Like, no, it's, it's actually behaving itself right now. It's working the way it's supposed to. Okay, well I can't, I can't get it to do it. <laughs> but uh, but sometimes it'll do that. Sometimes it'll, or you'll brush up, like when you get in, you'll brush up on the lock and it'll lock itself, or or like if you. Yeah, if you kind of touch it or you close the door, let's try it. Let's open it again. No, it's not doing it. Okay, well, whatever. It's uh, it's behaving itself. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I can't I can't get it to replicate it, but it, I've had I've I've caught it doing it a couple times. And if you leave your key in there, if you leave your key in there and like uh, you say you accident you slam the door, and um, it, it'll it'll lock the thing. It'll accidentally lock it, and then uh, and then you lock your keys in the car, so that sucks. So uh, so that's uh, that's one thing to have. Uh, I like the keyless entry. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how this works. Um, <laughs> uh, so hmm, cut off to pneumatic lock. Okay, I see, there's a way. I guess uh, if you cut this wire here, supposedly it makes it a uh, it it makes the pulse longer or shorter they said it's set at 0 0.5 seconds so it'll do the pulse um, it'll apply like a, a positive to uh, one of the triggers for like half a second um, I, I don't really know how it works I do know so I know there's a wire in the there's a wire in the car there's a um, there's a lock trigger and there's an unlock trigger and then um, yeah so I don't know where the um, They must be grounded already. I just have to, I just have to find the wire. I just have to find out which one of these wires needs to go to the, the lock and which one needs to go to the unlock. If you wire it backwards, then when you hit the, with the when you hit the lock button, it'll unlock it, and you, you know it'll be backwards. So, uh, so what we're gonna do, since Hades and Mega doesn't know what's going on, I don't have, I don't, I'm not a, a, a an alarm install expert here by any means. Um, 
what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go get a 12 volt battery and we're gonna hook it up to this bad boy and we're gonna go play with it. Um, I do have a volt, I have this, this gauge here. I do have an alligator clip right there. Um, I will need to, uh, yeah, I'll, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with it. We're gonna, we're gonna bench test it, um, but I need a battery. I don't have a 12 volt battery here. Maybe I do. Maybe I have a total battery. Oh, right here. What about this guy? Lithium ion, 18 volts. Okay, that's a little too much. Something lower voltage than that. I need like a car battery, dude. <laughs> um, all right. Well, anyway, we'll find that out. Um, so I think I'll. I think I'll. The only thing I'm gonna get done tonight is we're gonna go play with this, this doohickey here, and then see how it works, and then uh, then I'll figure out what wire does what. Um, because uh, it doesn't say anything here, man. It just says this is one is the uh, non, not the lock signal, and one is the lo unlock signal. Lock signal, unlock. So, so there's a there's a negative trigger and a positive trigger. Lock, unlock, lock, unlock. I don't know why there's two of them. Um, it's probably for cars that don't have uh, that don't have a door lock. Um, and I think this is only, well, I, I guess you can wire it in parallel if you wanted to do other doors. Um, but basically, uh, basically, I just want it to, to lock all the doors and then unlock all the doors. That's all I want it to do. It's just, you know, just so I don't have to, to work, give that, uh, that keyhole a workout all the time. Um, so I do have another, another little guy here. Maybe we can just, uh, maybe we can just use the one on the car. Let's just use the one on the car. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so we'll, we'll go figure this out. All right, uh, but yeah, it doesn't say what the wire, what wires does what. There's, uh, there's no colors. I mean, it, it has colors here, but it doesn't say where. Um, maybe, maybe they, maybe it corresponds like this. The orange one is just non-connect, and then the white one is a lock signal, and then there's a ground. What ground? Hmm. See, I don't even know what these are. What these are? That's uh. How many wires do we got coming out of this? So I'm just gonna count this and see how it matches. up. This is not good. I. <laughs> it doesn't tell you what all these other wires do. It just says like, hey, it's a uh, it's central control lock assorted wire. I'm like, what what the hell does that mean? You know? Does that what does that do? Does it do this or does it do that? Does it lock it? Does it unlock it? Um. This is a. Uh, I think this is the, this is definitely designed for a car that doesn't have. See, it says it has an actuator here. This is for a car that doesn't have a, a locking system on it already. So, it's so, all right. Um, we'll go play with it. Right, here's what we got.